Welcome back, uh, my friends. Hopefully you're staying safe and staying inside. I went outside to make this video because I like it out here. <laughs> Very peaceful. This is the New King James Version. Um, let me show you around. They have um, little things here. It has tab browsing. As center column. Okay, there you go. <laughs> now it came to pass when we were when we had departed from them and set sail, running straight a straight course, we came to coast. The following day to Rhodes and from there to Patera. And finding a ship sailing over to Phoenicia. We went abroad and set sail. And when we had sighted Cyprus, we passed it on the left and sailed to Syria. And landed at Tyre. For there the ship was to unload her cargo. And finding disciples, we we stayed there seven days. They told Paul through the Spirit not to go to Jerusalem. When we had come to the end of those days, we departed and went on our way. And they all accompanied us with wives and children till we were out of the city and we knelt down on the shore and prayed when we had taken our leave of one another we boarded our ship and had returned home and when we had finished our journey from Tyre we came to Ptolemaeus, greeted the brethren, and stayed with them one day. And on the next day, we departed. Or, sorry, we, on the next day, who were Paul's companions, uh, departed and came to Caesarea and entered a house of Philip, the evangelist, with him. Now, this man had four virgin daughters who prophesied. And as we had stayed many days, a certain prophet named Agabus had came down from Judea. When he had come to, to us, he took Paul's belt and bound his hands and feet and said, Thus saith the Holy Spirit, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind this man who owns this belt and deliver him into his hands, into the hands of the Gentiles. Now when we heard these things, both we and those that play, that place and those from that place pleaded For, uh, with hold on. I got a little problem here. Oh, okay. uh, sorry. Pardon me. Guys, hold on, hold on, guys. The winds are picking up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> it's slightly dry here, but it's not perfectly dry. As you can tell, it's wet on my table, uh, but the wetness has just not reached this area yet. Where was I? Now when we heard those things, both we and those from that place pleaded with him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, what do you mean by weeping and breaking my heart? 
For I am not only bound, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. So, when he would not be persuaded, was ceased saying, The will of the Lord be done. Awesome. Verse 15. And after those days, we packed up and went to Jerusalem. Also, some of the disciples from Caesarea went with us and brought with them certain Messon of Cyprus, an early disciple, with whom we were to lodge. And when we had come to Jerusalem, another brethren glad, uh, another, the brethren received us gladly. And on the following day, Paul went in with us to James. And all the elders were present. And when we had greeted them, he told in detail those things which God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. And when they had heard it, they glorified the Lord. And they said to him, You see, brother, how myriad of Jews there are who believed. And they are all zealous for the law. But they have been informed about you, that you teach all the Jews among the Gentiles, to forsake Moses, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, nor to walk according to the custom, the customs. What then? The assembly must certainly meet, for there they will hear that you have come. Therefore do what we tell you. We have four men who have taken a vow. Take them and be purified with them and pay their expenses so that they may shave their heads and that all may know that those things which of which they were informed concerning you are nothing but that you yourselves walk orderly and keep the law but concerning the Gentiles who believe we have written and decided that they should observe no such things except that they should keep themselves from um, from things offered to idols. From blood and from things strangled and from sexual immorality. Sounds good. Like a good plan. Arrested in the temple. This is verse 26. Then Paul took the men the next day, having been purified with them, entered in the temple to be announced, uh, to announce the expiration of the days of purification at the time which the offering should be made for each one of them. Sounds like a plan. Now, when the seven days were, were almost ended, the Jews from Asia, seeing him in the temple, stirred up the whole crowd and laid hands on him, crying out, Men of Israel, help! This is the man who teaches all men everywhere against the people. The law. And this place, and furthermore, 
He brought the Greeks into this temple and has defiled this holy place. For they had previously seen Trophimus the Ephesian with him in the city. Wait a second. They'd seen him in the city, not in the temple. Whom they supposed that Paul had brought into the temple. They just supposed it. And they caused all the uproar because of that. Verse 30. And all the city was disturbed. And the people ran together and seized Paul and dragged him out of the temple and immediately the doors were shut. Now as they were seeking to kill him, news came from uh, to, to the commander of the garrison that all the, the, of Jerusalem was in an uproar. He immediately took the soldiers and centurions and ran to them. And when they saw the commander and the soldiers, they stopped beating Paul. Then the commander came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with two chains. And he asked who he was and what he had done. And some among the multitude cried out one thing and some another. So when he could not ascertain the truth, because of the Talmud, he commanded. Hold on. It's getting a little wet over here. He commanded him to be taken into the barracks. And when they reached the stairs, they had carried by the soldiers because of the violence of the mob. For the multitude of, of the people followed him, followed after, crying, Away with him! Uh, well, verse 37. Then Paul was about to be led into the barracks. And he said to the commander, May I speak to you? He replied, can you speak Greek? Are you not the Egyptian some time ago stirred up a rebellion and led out 4,000 assassins out into the wilderness? But Paul said, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city. And I implore you, permit me to speak to the people. So when he had given him permission, Paul stood up on the the stairs and motioned with his hand to the pe to the people. And when there was a great silence, he spoke to them in the Hebrew language saying brethren and fathers hear my defense before you now and when they had heard they had, that he spoke to them in the Hebrew language they kept all the more silent and we'll learn about that next time you guys have a great day Stay safe.